Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unfiltered Recap. Today, we'll be recapping The Oval, um, Season 5, Episode 2. The title of this episode is The Missing Link. So, let's hop right on into this recap, baby. So, back at the hospital, Nancy is accusing Richard of hurting her, and the doctor goes to get security. Okay, if y'all remember the last episode... Nancy, Richard hadn't took Nancy to the hospital because the last season she tried to unalive herself. So, he's trying to get us some help now. So, anywho, Richard is trying to calm Nancy down after she didn't sit up here and told his doctor that he, that Richard is trying to hurt her. So, now he's going to get security. So, Richard trying to, like, simmer her down. But she starts going crazy, child. So, the security comes in to arrest Richard and baby. The security looks a lot like T from the Parkers. I had to rewind this because you really couldn't see. Like, I, it went so fast. And then it was kind of like Richard was in front of him a little bit. So, you really couldn't tell. And I was like, is that T? Is that, what's his, his real name? Thaddeus? <laughs> but anyway, he comes in to arrest Richard or whatnot. So, then next we are back at the hotel with Bobby and Priscilla. And, baby, my man ain't dead. Okay? Okay, my man ain't dead. So, Bobby lets Priscilla know that Sam shot him with rubber bullets. Um, basically giving off warning shots. So, he asks Priscilla to run him a cold, um, some cold water and get him a drink, child. And Bobby took off that shirt. <laughs> that man is fine. But I digress. Priscilla starts talking about how she can't believe Sam did that. Now, girl, you must be real delusional. So, Bobby called her out, and I'm glad he did, saying how she used him to try and get her lick back with Sam. And then he said he wished she would have just admitted that that's what she was doing. And Bobby, honestly, I wish she would have too. So, Bobby ends up flipping the script on her and says he don't want her, and he don't want um, and she don't want him. And he just wanted to basically have sex. And Priscilla's face was on the floor. Like, y'all remember that play when Medea was trying to catch somebody's face? Because something had happened. And she was like, oh, girl. Your face just fell. I think it was a uh, diary of a mad black woman. She was trying to catch that girl's face. That's how I wanted to do Priscilla's. But anyway, um, Bobby said she want, he wanted to get... Um, his mind off of Lily, basically, and she wanted to get her mind off of Sam, so they was just trying to use each other. So, Bobby makes it known that this ain't the way to do it, and then Bobby told her to head home to her angry husband, and at this point, Priscilla is drove child, so she heads out, but, out, but Bobby asking about what her drink, his drink is, and, baby, that lady ain't finna give you no drink. Now, nah, why you ask? You should have got the drink before you started, you know, making Priscilla face drop. But I digress once again. So, back at the Oval, Max sees Sam and asks where he's been. And Sam says, ask Bobby Chad. I can't. I, I, I like Sam at first, but now I can't stand his little short behind. You know, it just, oh, little men are short-tempered for real. So now we have Kyle, Victoria, and Donald. They're all outside the infirmary when the VP, Max, and Sam walk up. The VP asks how's the president, but Donald lies and said he's getting from rest. He don't want this man all up in their business, so he's just trying to play it cool. But, of course, Victoria stops that, stops his lies and tells the VP the truth. And Donald try, tries to stop her, but, you know, y'all know how they go with Victoria. She's going to do what she want to do. So, Victoria tells the VP that he will be, sw be sworn in and whatnot. The VP and Donna go back and forth with each other. You can tell Donna is fed up with, with Victoria running her mouth, and he doesn't like the VP at all, okay? So, when the VP leaves, Donald confronts Victoria, asking her why would she tell him that? Like, girl, what, what you doing? And he also says he knows that she... Um, she's got an agenda and don't want her any don't want her close to the president at all um so he told kyle to keep an eye on her so then we have sam and max they're standing in the hallway and talking about kyle they start talking about kyle and then they end up starting to talk about um they need to find jason which is the son so then max decides to call bobby tell him he needs 
um, he's needed at the White House or whatnot. And so uh, Bobby asked for Sam there, and Max was like, well, yeah, he's here. And, um, you know, it's going to be some Michelle. Sam raising his eyebrows and stuff, but, you know, yeah, it's going to be Wayne Dane Doodle over there with them. So then back to Victoria and Kyle. Um, Victoria brings up the fact that they lost Jason, and Kyle says that he had help escaping. And y'all know Jason is the missing link to bringing everything down. Okay, we need Jason. So Victoria makes remarks about Hunter possibly dying, child. Then tells Kyle that they have 24 hours to find her son or else. Girl, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Call your daddy. Anyway, now we get we see Jason. He's at the um uh, uh compound facing his twin baby. Y'all know it was like some some um comments about river and jason looking like they could have been brothers so they finally meet face to face um jason says that his name is mike and then he was telling them that he needed a phone and asked where is he they let him know he on private property so river um tells him that he can't leave and that he'll have the elder mother bring him a meal and if you know you know okay poor jason Oh, I hope they find them. But then we go to Lily. She is calling Bobby, honey. She calling her man again. So she needs to see him. And baby, he says, baby, you made your bed. Now lie in it. He don't want to see you. So Lily tells him about the dead bodies of, in her house and what happened. But Bobby ain't really trying to hear it. And he ended up getting off the phone with him. So back at the hospital... It, you see the security guard again, and that's T, okay? That is T, the officer, whatnot. He's questioning Richard um, why he has him handcuffed, and then the doctor walks up and says to let him go. The doctor says Nancy was all over the place, so he believes Richard and asks what happened. Um, the doctor mentions if Richard had heard about this flower because it was all over Nancy, and it's very powerful. And this flower has people hallucinating and ask, how did she get it? So he lets um, lets him know about the cult. And the doctor said that it could have killed her, but it'll take some time and just to wait it out. I hope they're going to get that mess up by her sister ASAP. Because I need my girl to come too. Like they about to, oh, they about to run my pressure up messing with Nancy. Shoot now. Well, she was done for going up there. But anyway, we talking about this episode. Let me get back to on track. Okay, so back at the Oval, um, the VP, Eli, is getting sworn in as the president. Eli says, first order of business. After he gets sworn in, he's like, first order of business, talking to Donald. And Donald tries to stop him, but Eli tells him to know his place. Okay? <laughs> he's like, know your place, brother. And that he's being replaced. So he, he told Donna to know, know your place, and he also replaced him. So y'all know Donna don't like that. Donna, <laughs> Donna don't like that at all. So Eli really won't smoke. So he told Donna him and Kyle can get up out of there because they both, they both being fired. Like, don't even go to your office and get your stuff go home. Like, don't, don't be hanging around here. Get up out of here. So Donna wants to catch him up to speed, but, like, the president, the new press ain't having it at all chad he don't he said he's very much caught up because he's been picking up y'all slack i heard that so then donna walks up on cal and lets him know they got 24 hours to wake hunter up and told kyle to go find victoria because at this point victoria had to left i don't know where she went but anyway alonzo walks up and donna told him to come here and they have a weird stare off chad before anybody say something this is weird so um Donald told Alonzo to tell him what um what he did, like what because he was the one that gave the president the drugs, so he was like, What what happened? So Alonzo tells him and Donald asks where did he get the drugs. Kyle gives the rundown about the pharmacy, telling trying to catch get Donald to um realize that the pharmacy he got it from was where Sharon worked and if y'all remember the president was trying to holler at Sharon at one point in time. So, Donald asks Alonzo, where are the drugs now? And Alonzo says he doesn't have them and that he gave them to someone and then admits to stealing the drugs. 
it was a whole bunch of this little thing. It was like a whole little rundown. So Donald asked him again, where's the drugs? And Alonzo says he don't know. So then Donald tells Kyle to shoot Alonzo. If he don't if he don't answer him. If you don't give him the answer that you want, shoot him right in the middle of his head. But then they were interrupted by a call um that Kyle got from his little earbud or whatever about the first lady's whereabouts. So um Donald ended up going wherever he was going and Kyle and Alonzo was still standing there by the infirmary and Kyle let Alonzo know that he screwed up and he was serious about um Donald was serious about killing him. So then we're at the police station, child. Again, we in like a little interrogation room. The way this the police station was set up, it reminded me so much of the haves and the have nots, child. Oh, I miss it. I miss Veronica and them. But anyway, we at the police station with Alan. He's meeting with the um Desiree, the prosecutor. You know, she's also in Ruthless. If you don't watch Ruthless, what are you doing? Um, and she wants to talk to him and try to help him. She lets him know that they were sent by the vice president and says he is facing serious charges and wanted to know where he got um the drugs from. Alan ain't budging at all. He doesn't believe them. He thinks this is like a conspiracy, whatever. Woo -de -woo. So she lets him know that the president overdosed on the batch of drugs that Alan gave, Alan had or whatever, and that it was a setup. And they really need his help, and they need to get them people out of the White House. Alan still doesn't believe it and wants them to take him back to the cell. And he want to talk to his lawyer. He said he ain't talking to nobody else. So the man takes Alan back, and Desiree ends up calling someone, I'm assuming the VP, to let them know that Alan didn't believe anything and that um, they were just going to have to come up there and talk to them, talk to him themselves. So back in the basement or whatever of the White House, Simone and an agent are talking. She asks what's his name. He just say agent child. He ain't even, I don't know. So she said, she was telling him that they can't keep her down there, but he insists they can. Then Victoria walks in and tells the agent to leave, but don't go too far. Like stay on the side, of, stay outside the door. Just stay right there. Don't go nowhere else. Um, Victoria lets her know they have a situation and let Simone know that her husband has been sworn in as president. And she tells um, Victoria that she has to get out of there. Victoria says she ain't going nowhere. She says that her and Eli make better partners than Simone and her own husband. This is a mess. So um, Victoria also tells Simone that she is going to be away with her kids and will suffer a serious accident, child. And she gonna learn not to mess with Victoria. So she tells this woman she's gonna basically kill her. Uh, Simone tells her she can't do this, but Victoria says it's already done. Okay, Victoria is loony. I don't like, she, I, she's loony, okay? So Simone tells her to go ahead and do what she gotta do. And says, um, do she really think her husband isn't going to be asking where she is? But Victoria tells Simone that it was Eli's plan. And poor Simone, she don't believe it. Child, I would believe it. Because that man is dirty just like Victoria. If he's doing, doing anything with Victoria, he is dirty, okay? So, um, Victoria lets it be known that she is the devil herself. And she leaves, okay? But wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute now. When Miss Victoria walks out, Miss Simone unzips her boot, a boot, baby. And what do we have here? Sis has been recording the whole conversation. Protect Simone at all costs, boo. Protect Simone at all costs. Okay. Don't let her die, cause we need that tape out. Period. <laughs> So back at the hospital, Dale is wanting to see Kareem, the nurse ex, who he is to him. And this fool say he his cousin. Now Dale. But anywho, the lady shows him to the room and Dale asks if he be okay. And she says he's out of it, but he'll be okay. So Dale decides to sit with Kareem and talk to him and let him know he's there for him. Even she, He was like, I don't know if you can hear me. But I, I need you to wake up because Sharon's in jail. We need to get to the bottom of this. And he was like, I'm here for you, blah, blah, blah. And so 
then if i'm not mistaken this is kareem's real cousin the drug dealer he walks in um i can't think of his name but he sees dale and they catch eyes and they um the cousin kareem's cousin was like you and dale was like shh s-h-i-t you know it's gonna be some mess okay um but that's that was the end of this episode i give it a little 7.5 it was cool it was real cool um i need y'all to protect someone at all costs though that's what i do need but y'all let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section below make sure you like comment and subscribe press that bell notification so you can be notified every time i post a new video because it'd be random okay very 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 random and if you're not watching the oval what are you doing because the oval is good boo and i really think it's coming to an end sadly i feel like all of this is just gonna just blow up honestly i feel like we probably have one more season after this i don't know though i could be wrong but yeah y'all let me know y'all thoughts i'll see y'all in the next video peace